Welcome back. We all love our mothers, and we'd like to think that we would do anything for them. Matt Shea did more than most. Matt's mom, Melanie, has battled a benign brain tumor for almost 20 years now. Five years ago, she underwent radiation treatments that caused her hair to fall out. So Matt started growing out his hair. It took years to grow the 12 inches of hair uh, that was needed to make a wig for Melanie, but Matt succeeded. And Matt and Melanie Shehey uh, join me live now tonight. Thank you both so much for being here. This is such an amazing story. Um, Matt, tell me, how did all this get started? How did you get the idea? Um, it's kind of funny how it played out, actually. It almost came up as a joke in conversation. <laughs> um, so my hair was starting to get a little long after I graduated college. I went to a school where we had a kind of a strict dress code. Um, and I kind of just jokingly said, maybe I'll grow a wig for you. And then it just clicked. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think, Melanie? Did you think it, he was serious? Well, I know at the time he was serious, uh, but I told him, hey, if stuff comes up professionally or relationship-wise, right. if you need to cut your hair, it's okay. So, but so he went distance. He went two years. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I mean, I'm looking at these pictures. It's a lot of hair. Um, mm -hmm. So it took two years. So were you in college at that point, Matt? Uh, I had just graduated, and as soon as I graduated, I just skipped all my haircuts. <laughs> so did you like the long hair, or was it sort of like you would explain to people, look, I'm doing this for my mom? Um, long hair is a lot of work. I have a newfound respect for women everywhere. Um, it's just a lot of work. It's a ton of work. What, and you do have good hair, by the way, I have to say. What, um, what was the reaction of, uh, of family and friends, Melanie? Well, Matt kept it quiet for a long time. He just, uh, people would say, hey, you must like long hair, and he'd say yes. He didn't acknowledge that he was growing a wig to, for me to everybody. Um, but when we finally got to the end and told, he acknowledged what he was doing at work, people made a fuss, you know, everywhere he's been, people make a fuss, so. I, I, he deserves it, though. He deserves a fuss. It's, it's amazing. Um, are you doing okay now, health-wise? I mean, you, you look great. Well, I look better in this gorgeous wig. You do. Yeah, you look amazing. Yeah, I'm really grateful. Uh, you know, I'm doing okay, but I, I'm living a happy life. I have some uh, health issues that are challenging, but certainly with uh, family members like Matt and that kind of love and support, it, it's easy to be happy. Does it feel like your son is with you all the time because of the wig? I mean, it's got to make you feel close to him even if, if he's away. Well, it's true. It's true. And it's beautiful and it's great hair and it's the right color for my coloring. Um, so it's really great. It really, it really looks great. You both, you both look awesome. Matt, what would you say um, to other people? I mean, I know there's causes and organizations out there where you can grow out your hair um, and you can do something like this, even if it's for a stranger, not your own mom. What, what's your message? Um. I, th I think if there's anyone, and I'm sure that there are people that are in a similar situation to my mother, um, seeing what it's been able to do to her uh, has meant the world. I didn't expect it to mean as much as it did until it actually happened. Um, and, you know, growing hair, I think if you have the opportunity to grow a full head of hair and donate it, I'd say all power to you. So I'm just curious, once you were done growing out the hair and you cut it, is there like a, a person you send it to that actually makes the wig? How does it work? So there are actually very few companies where you can donate uh, your own hair or a family member's hair and have them actually make a wig to return back to you. Uh, when I started the research, there were only three uh, companies in the United States that offered that specific service. So we used a company in Newport Beach, California called uh, Compassionate Creations, where they take donated hair and um, make it into a wig for you. So. So interesting and such an inspiration uh, you both are. Thank you so much for coming on. Totally made my night uh, to meet you both. You both look great. Um, and uh, thank you so much, Matt and Melanie, for coming on tonight. Thanks thank you. Okay, still. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.